So in this problem, we're told to find the horizontal and vertical asymptotes of the curve. We're told that y equals 7e e to the x over e to the x minus 5. So let's start by finding what x equals, which is basically our vertical asymptote. We find that by taking our denominator, which is e to the x minus 5, setting it equal to 0. So if we add 5 to both sides, e to the x is going to be equal to 5. And then in order to find x, we can take the natural log of both sides, which is going to give us, because the e's is going to cancel, so it's just going to become x equals the element of 5. So for our vertical asymptote, is going to be x equals the ln of 5. Let's move on to our horizontal ones. And we find that by just taking the limit as x approaches infinity of our function here. So 7e e to the x over e to the x minus 5. So you can see here, since we uh, just look at the highest degree variable, so 7e e to the x over e to the x. So these are going to be the same, right? So what we do is just take a look at the constants out front. So we just 7 and 1, and we divide them. So this is just going to be 7. So one of our horizontal asymptotes is going to be 7. But what about the other one? So the other one's going to be when our function is undefined in like a range. So what we want to do is just like when it equals 0 over 0, right? So basically when 7e e to the x is going to be equal to 0. So if we divide by 7 both sides, we'll get e to the x equals 0. Then if we take the ln of both sides, ln of e to the x is going to be equal to the ln of 0. And then we're going to get these cancel, so x equals the ln of 0. But what you can realize is that the ln of 0 doesn't exist, right? Because the natural log, its domain is only for positive numbers, so this doesn't exist. right? So it's basically going to be when 0, so our other horizontal asymptote is going to be 0. So our two values are going to be y equals 0 and y equals 7. So these are going to be the answers to this problem.